Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. Yes, I'm in a new space. I hope you guys like, but today on the show, I want to talk about Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love is on Twitter and she is shading the hell out of the real, her old job. Why is she shading the real? We don't know. The real is over, but I found this to be really interesting. So we're going to talk about it. So just to give you guys a little bit of context, because I kind of want to build a story here. Remember, for like six, seven seasons on that show, Lonnie Love was kind of like the unofficial moderator who was in the middle, right? And then COVID happened. They started filming the show from their homes. Then a year went by, everybody got vaccinated, and then they moved back into the studio. I think they were trying to cut costs, you know, when it came to the whole studio setup. So they switched up the seating chart, got rid of the table, moved into an entire new studio, and it was interesting because I believe, and fact check me if I got it wrong, but I believe Lonnie Love went from the middle to the far, 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 far left. And I think she lost her unofficial moderator role. Okay, that's my opinion. I could be wrong, but I think she was always in the middle. When they came back from COVID, they moved her to the far left. She was like the stepchild in the corner. Now, I say that to say, listen, when Lonnie Love got moved to the left, to the left, Everything she owned was in the box to the left. I felt as though her whole entire demeanor changed, okay? Her entire energy changed. To me, she was a lot more hesitant to speak. She was a lot more quiet. I felt as though she was a lot more reserved, which I found to be interesting. I'm like, okay, ever since Lonnie Love moved her seat, the energy shifted. Well, the interesting thing about this situation is that, remember, she got her own show, not her own show, but she ended up getting another job. So The Real was basically on its last leg in its last season, and she had gotten another job with E! News Daily Pop. So in the mornings, she was doing The Real. They would pre-record, pre-tape, and then in the afternoons, she would go live on E! News Daily Pop. And I would notice, okay, y'all, I would watch The Real, and I would notice that Sis's energy was off, and then I would watch E! News Daily Pop and I would notice that Lonnie Love was more open. She was cracking more jokes. It just kind of seemed like to me she was a lot more happy. OK, Lonnie Love was a lot more happy. So I just noticed the difference when she was at The Real. It was kind of like, bitch, I'm just here for my check. And when she was at Daily Pop, it was like I actually like working with these people. And I think it all started when they moved her to the left, to the left. OK, like Beyonce. Now. Here's my thing. The real ended, and that was that. I felt like nobody really cared about the ending of the real. Garcelle was new, so she really did not have an emotional stake in the show. Adrian and her husband moved to New York City. I think uh, Lonnie, what's her name? Lonnie Love seemed like she was happy at her new job. And then, um, what's her name? Jeannie was in Atlanta with her husband and her baby. So I felt like everybody just kind of wanted to move on from the situation. Now, listen. Here's the thing. Tell me why yesterday was Lonnie Love's birthday. And during uh, E! News Daily Pop, she was on there and they gave Lonnie this birthday surprise. They came out with this two-piece band. And, um, you know, Lonnie Love was really happy at the situation. They were clinking champagne glasses. Tamara did like this nice, sweet birthday video message. Like it was really nice. Lonnie Love just burst into tears and she was like, oh my God, this is so sweet. And thank you guys so much. No one has ever done this for me before. And this, that, and the third. Okay. And then, okay, then Lonnie goes to Twitter. Okay, mind you, the reel is canceled. The reel is over, but she's still on E! News. She goes to Twitter. She posts that birthday clip of her crying and crying and crying and crying because they gave her a two-piece band on live television, which was, you know, it was sweet. But she tweeted uh, that clip and said, I was on a show for eight seasons and never got a birthday surprise. I am humbled by this. Thank you to my E! News fam. Now, y'all, is that not shady? Is that not shady? The fact that she's like, oh, my God, I was on this show for eight seasons and they never gave me a birthday surprise. Now, they are eating up Lonnie Love in these comments. Um, I know I have a group chat with a whole bunch of my friends. And they were like, wasn't Lonnie Love a producer? Why didn't she just produce her own birthday surprise? And I'm like, well, I mean, number one, you can't produce a surprise for yourself. Okay, you can't surprise yourself. That's number one. Number two, 
I feel as though this is code word for I did not feel valued or appreciated at the room. I think it's really bigger than the birthday surprises, right? I felt like when she got surprised on Daily Pop, she really felt like, oh my God, these people value me. These people love me. These people appreciate what I bring to the table and I feel the appreciation. So I think that's what she's really saying, right? So now I'm looking at this tweet and I'm looking at the replies. Um, someone, a user by the name of Empress, tweets this video clip, a really old clip of them at uh, The Real back when Tamar was on there, where they surprised Tamara and Lonnie with these birthday cakes because I believe they both have summer birthdays, right? So listen, Lonnie then responds and she's like, like I said, eight seasons, boo, never got one. That was a combo. Oop. So I'm like, Lonnie, okay, sis, what are you talking about? At first it was, I never got a birthday surprise. And now you're saying, I mean, well, that was a combo. I never got my own dedicated birthday surprise. So I'm like, okay, at this point, it's starting to seem a little petty. It's starting to seem like Lonnie Love is throwing out these statements to be petty towards her former employer over there at The Real. So then I started to do some more digging. Okay, Delisha said, but it was a birthday surprise. And even though it was a joint birthday surprise, they did make each of you feel special. Your birthday is during the show's break. However, they still tried. It just seems like you made it like no one cared when they did. I'm also a summer baby, a cancer, so I get it. And then Vaccine said, oh my gosh, she's corny for that, shaking my head. Ooh, my eyes watering. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, holiday. Y'all know how my eyes, you know how my tears get, child. I don't know what is wrong with my tears. I need some eye drops. Um, Vaccine said, oh my gosh, she's so corny for that, shaking my head. And then Crystal Kongstan replies and said, but your birthday is always during hiatus. And Ganelle, uh Cindy responds to that and says, the real was on summer hiatus for both Lonnie and Tamara's birthday. What exactly were they supposed to do? Hashtag shade. So I'm like, wow, Lonnie, you seem really petty going on Twitter talking about some all my life. I never had a birthday surprise when the whole time your birthday was during the summer. It's like having a summer birthday in grade school. Like, can't nobody tell you happy birthday if your ass was born in July, bitch. OK, so here's the thing. I really think, like I said before, I really think it's deeper than the birthday. I really think what Lonnie Love is trying to say is I felt undervalued over there at The Real. And I think her undervalued feelings, those feelings of feeling undervalued, probably started to happen after they shifted her that last season from the middle in the corner to the left. I think that's what she's really trying to say. But I also feel like she's petty because says your birthday was during the summer and they did throw you a birthday surprise at one point in time. So I want to get y'all's opinion on the situation. Do you think Lonnie Love is being petty or do you think that her feelings are valid? Let's go ahead and talk about it in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.